Hi! First of all, Happy New Year! I hope you guys achieve all your game dev goals in 2023 and I'm gonna try to help you get there. So um, yeah, first of all, we're gonna start the year with a big video, so I hope you got some rest. Um, it's gonna be on a client reconciliation. So client reconciliation is a process that needs to happen whenever the client prediction actually predicted the wrong uh, position when they moved, uh, when we did the prediction locally, and then the server tries to correct it. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do in this video. Let's get started. Okay, so uh, we'll start by making ourselves a little tool to visualize actually uh, what is the um, last server position we, we've got uh, and, um, and then we'll see where we are in the, in the real world. So um, it's a pretty neat tool just to debug, but we're going to need two things for that. We're going to need uh, um, a mesh filter which is going to be the mesh we're going to draw because we're just going to draw like ourselves um, in the world. Um, uh, let's go with mesh filter and um, the color of which we want it to appear. So let's go with here, color, color. Cool. And then what we're going to do is um, at the bottom here, we're going to do uh, on draw gizmos. And then here, what we're going to do is we're going to say if we have a server transform state that value and it's not equal to null, then what we want to do is we want to set the gizmos color, uh, gizmos dot color to the, uh, to the color, and then draw the mesh. So draw mesh, yeah, and then we can say oh, uh, the mesh filter dot mesh. And then we're putting it at the server transform state that value dot position. There we go. So then it's going to draw uh, where on the server um, we actually are. So it's going to help us to debug to see if like the reconciliation happened correctly or if the, the our um, server position is actually completely different than from um, our local one. So, okay. So now let's go in Unity and I'll link this up. Okay, so now in Unity, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna go on a player prefab and uh, select some values. So here, I'll put mine as a kind of um, orange. Make sure you put the uh, opacity around like, let's say here, that should be fine. 75, yeah, that, that looks great. Um, and then we're gonna link the capsule and that's what's gonna be drawn to show where uh, the server thinks we are. So that's gonna be um, what we need to do. Uh, now what we need to do to show you, we're gonna do a build and uh, I'll show you what it looks like. So I started the host and a client and you can see the client on my screen right now. What we see here is the little tool we've been, um, we've, we've done with the on draw gizmo. So it draws the position where the server thinks you are. So it's gonna help us make sure that the reconciliation really works. So um, yeah, what uh, reconciliation is, is that sometimes the server is gonna calculate the uh, position that is different to where the client actually predicted um, his input. And then you could see it, but um, with this tool, you're going to be able to see it. But the problem is like, it's a little bit hard to kind of reproduce. And usually like the calculation are going to be like super uh, minimal. So it's going to be a little bit hard to see, but there's clearly like some times that the position is not the same and we're going to see it in the code and we're going to do some debug log to show that there's actually some discrepancy, that some difference between the server and the client. And um, we're going to make sure after that, that the server, uh, not the server, but the clients kind of um, catch up to uh, the server. So he's going to move the player to the position that the server thinks he is and then replay the input. So um, for that, we're going to have to modify the network component. So uh, let's uh, go do that. Okay. So what we're actually looking to fix is the on server state change. Uh, what we uh, want to do actually is we want to now compare uh, the new value um, to the value that we calculated at that the at that tick that we have in the new value, so um, for now, like we'll we'll remove that, and we'll start by checking if not is local player, uh, then just return because this is not supposed to um, happen um, for anyone other than the player. Then we're gonna check if the um, 
previous state uh, is actually equal to null, meaning that that's kind of the first time that the server updates us, then we're just going to set the previous value to the new um, new value. In fact, you know what? Let's remove that to server state. Okay, and we're going to set it to server state. There you go. Okay, now this is where it becomes interesting. So let's say we uh, actually, um, you, we received that. First of all, what we want to find is we want to find in our array of transform um, the one that is uh, of the same thick of this one. And then we're going to compare them to see did we arrive at the same result, okay? So we're going to go in here and do transform state calculated transform uh, calculated state, let's say, equals transform state dot first. And then um, this is our uh, some of our local state. So let's call it that local state. And we want the one where um, local state dot tick equals the server state dot tick. Okay. So now we have the state that we calculated at the same tick as the server. Um, so now we where we can just compare them. So we're going to say um, calculated state dot position if calculated present is not equal to server state dot position then that means we have a problem we are out of sync with the server so what we're going to what first one to do is okay the steps are we teleport the player uh, teleport the player to the server position because we need to restart at the point where um, the server thinks think we were at that tick okay and then what we're going to do is replay the inputs that happen after okay so uh, that's kind of how it should um, actually work so let's start with the first part okay we're going to teleport the player for that i think i'm just going to create another um, function uh, teleport player and we're going to send in the server state. Okay, so I'm going to generate that function here. Uh, create, um, so just here, so we have the transform state. And um, what we actually want to do is we want to disable the character controller because it makes it impossible to move the player um, directly by its transform when this is enabled. And we're just going to set his position to the server state that position and then transform dot rotation to the state oh, state oh uh, no no service state dot rotation um, and then we're gonna re-enable it enable equals true okay uh, and now this is the important part every time you change actually where the player is, you need to re reset also the value that was in our local array of transform. So what we're going to do is a simple for uh, int i equals zero, e small, oops, e smaller than a transform state dot length, um, and e plus plus. So we're just going to go through our array and we're going to find the one um, that is uh, of the same tick, basically. So if transform state at position i dot tick equal equal server state dot tick then we know we have the right one and we can say oops transform transform state i equal uh, the the server state uh, you know what let's not call it server state let's call it state so it stays agnostic so state 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 and then it's equal to the state and then we can break from the loop okay so this is basically going to move the player to the the position that the server uh, um, actually had and then it's going to replace the value in the transform state to the corrected value okay so that's good we have the first part down so now um now that we've teleported, we only have to replay the input. 
So um, since since it's a little bit hard to see on the server, what we're going to do is we're going to add also a debug.log here. Uh, uh, client and server. Uh, let's see. No, let's try. Correcting client position. Okay, so from time to time we're gonna get we're gonna get that like the server is gonna send a position and we're not we were not at the right position so uh, we're gonna see this at least in the in the log. Um, cool. So now what we have to do is we have to replay the input. Um, so basically we're gonna go and search for all the inputs and uh, that that happen after um, this tick and then we're gonna just ask the character um, uh, controller to uh, just replay them so okay we're gonna go in here let's get all of the input state okay so input state so inputs equals let's go with input states dot and this is like uh, i use uh, i use this just as a shortcut um because i i like that syntax it's not the most optimized thing it depends on on, on what you use but for now, uh, I find it pretty useful, but you could do a good old for loop here and it would be like uh, perfect. Um, so this is actually saying, okay, I want the input where uh, this is true. So all the input where um, the input, the, the tick of the input is uh, greater than the server tick. So that's what we actually want. And then we're gonna uh, actually sort them because they might be out of order because remember that the the array is kind of um, when it gets to the end then it goes back to the beginning so it means like they're not necessarily in order um, with this we're gonna get it we're, we're gonna get all the input with some might be at the beginning of the array and some might be at the end of the array so um, they're not in order so we're gonna actually put them in order because it's important to replay them in order um, in inputs from input uh, in inputs order by uh, input dot tick and this is a lazy way of doing a sorting um, uh, but um, si since I don't I, this is not a algorithmic <laughs> video uh, uh, an algorithm video I'm just gonna use this uh, this syntax um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the input but the the, the, the it's all into the system that link you um, so yeah so okay now we have our inputs now what we're gonna do is we're just going to go through them. So let's go with um, inputs that for each. Um, so it's going to it's going to grab us that. Let's put um, input state and then we have our input state. OK, so for each input, what we want to do is we want to move the player like a, like we would do before with the input state dot movement input. Then we want to rotate the player uh, with the input uh, state that row uh, look in, uh, look input. Oops, sorry. And then after that is done, uh, we need to do the other thing. Um, it's always uh, um, actually correct the transform state. So now we have a new transform, um, a new transform state. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new transform state. So transform state new. Oops. Transform state new transform state equals new transform state and then we're going to set the value the position is now the new um uh, let's start with now the let's start with the tick tick is the input input uh state dot tick so we're setting for the same tick that the that input was um then we uh, go at the position and we say it's transform that position uh, we're going to the rotation. It's transform dot rotation, oh, rotation, and then um, we said that uh, if we're correcting, then the has started moving is uh, is going to be equal to true. Okay. So now what we want to do is we want to do the same kind of loop to see if um, to replace it in the transform state array. So equals zero. Uh, y is smaller than transform state dot length uh, and then I plus plus and then we're gonna go here and if the transform come on transform state I dot tick is equals to the input 
input state the tick uh, then we replace it basically so we go uh, transform state i equals new transform state and then we can break okay so there might be like some more eloquent way to do this like i've done this like pretty um but it's it's not the the, the prettiest code i've ever written um but uh but it works it get the job done um so that's basically it so now we're gonna get a debug.log whenever we uh, it's correct it's actually correcting uh, the client position and um it's gonna actually teleport the player back and replay the actual input so um, pretty simple stuff and now let's go in uh, unity and test that out all right so i did a build of the game and now we're gonna um we're gonna host here and join here because we want to see on the client side here we go let's join uh okay yeah it should join i'm gonna see this here ready here ready here and then we start we're gonna get that server out of the way here boom then go back here and this one as we see still have that uh the, the, the little thing it follows and then we're supposed to see in the log here in the console uh, that the client reconciliation uh, that the position wasn't right okay so there you go there you go there was a difference in the position but um, we can't we can't quite see it here and there's still like sometimes a little bit of difference depending on how it's drawn and stuff but you can see that the server does catch up. And then at this point, it's just only a matter of like um, how it's drawn. But the, the difference is really minimal and I think it's only because of the, the way it renders it. But the, the reconciliation does happen. So yeah, here we go. We got a second step, the uh, client reconciliation. And there it is for the client prediction video. In the next video, we're gonna go back to some UGS stuff. I wanna put on hold a little bit on the player movement because um, there's only one step really left for the player movement, which is whenever the input didn't reach the server. So the client, the server kind of have to assume that, okay, you, um, you, you've had the same key input uh, for the frame they missed or uh, the client needs to send back that input. So I'm not really sure what we're gonna do for now, but um, I'm gonna leave that for later. Uh, and we're gonna go back for, um, to, to UGS to implement some uh, life improvement on the lobby system and the relay service and all the connection reconnection flow uh, i've had a lot of comment on that uh, in the discord server and a lot of you guys asked me for some little feature in the lobby like color selection for the player and stuff like that so we're gonna take a look at this um, so yeah if you like the video please like subscribe and hit the notification bell thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video